Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, what I have in front of me is a uh, HP Elite book. It's the really little 12 inch one uh, that can function as a tablet basically because it has a swivel top. Um, you can twist it left and right and it has a, a pin that pulls out on the side and uh, you can use it as a, as a little tablet. Um, this was ordered brand new by um, the customer quite a while ago featuring an i5. I believe it's running at 2.5 gigahertz and I only had four gigs of DDR3. I've just already updated it. We've added in another four gigs to upgrade the RAM. Um, the hard drive is getting re is really bad. Um, it's not failing, but it's definitely got issues. So it's really sluggish and such. Uh, the customer came in and saw how good her husband's um, computer was at multitasking with the PNY uh, 240 gig SSD. And she basically made him swap. <laughs> when you get married, it's basically, you know, your your life is over guys <laughs> so basically what she wanted was she wanted his ssd since it's only going into her notebook and we're putting in a samsung you know 750 evo into his desktop so he get you know he's paying for it but he's got the better end of the deal because the samsung drive is definitely better but the computer is in really good shape because the customer is just going to school and such so um, i've cleaned it up, up up a little bit i've already cleaned off the dirt and i'm gonna do the update and i will show you guys how it's going to run with this PNY 240 gig SSD. It's going to go back to 107 Professional uh, and we'll, uh, we'll update it and we'll put in some programs for her. Okay, finally got that PNY 240 gig uh, SSD installed into this little uh, uh, Leap Book, HP Leap Book. So this is the HP Leap Book 2760p. Um, it's a neat little tablet notebook basically as you can see you switch it around and it is a tablet so this is before like uh, you know tablets became really 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 thin but the difference between this is that of course it's a laptop and it's a uh, you say well the surface uh, Microsoft surface is more blah blah it is but the Microsoft surface is not fixable quite frankly you break it and it's you're screwed uh, this can still be serviced it's made of sturdy construction steel construct you know it's it's made of a uh, metal so it twists like this and then you can use it as a normal laptop and look at this it twists all the way down and it's got a real fan big fan uh room for eight gigs of uh, ram and you know the hard drive is expandable and it also has a docking bay where you can connect it to a docking station for like dvd connectivity or other expansions so um there's no dvd player in this it does have a a pencil basic for writing and such you know so or drawing and it has an SD card and then it's got an express port here a firewire one USB here and it has flip it over here uh, a C card expansion slot USB USB uh, modem uh, power and LAN and then VGA out so there's no HDMI out into this and there's no USB 3.0 for you to do in kind of a expansion on that i'm sure you could do something with the, exp the expansion ports there must be something around there but well let's just turn on and uh let's show you it might just be in hibernation too it is in hibernation but there we go and i'm going to just show you how again i did a, a little video on uh how an ssd really helps out an older desktop system but let's see what it does for this little notebook uh, it's running a Intel i5, um, 2.5 gigahertz. It is the Sandy Bridge uh, equivalent of it. And uh, let's get it out here, and I'll get the. I'm gonna zoom in. This is a small screen, so uh, hopefully you can see it a little bit better. And uh, see so what we can do here. So, what it is? It is. There we go, rocking the i5 2520M CPU running at 2.5 gigahertz. I've upgraded the laptop with another 4 gigs of RAM. Now it's running 8 gigs of RAM, Windows 7 Professional, uh, fully activated. Now, let's see what it can do, huh? An SSD, is it worth it and what it can really do? And so, again, I'm going to do this, a really similar test that I did with the desktop. We're going to open up the Word Suite. So this is running on battery power, okay, but running in high performance. And I'm going to open up the uh, all the word suites, and then we're just going to uh, see what. Oops, 
so it didn't click fast enough see what because i'm using a wireless mouse here and we're going to open up excel too and it's pretty quick in opening up everything remember intel is not telling you the truth an i5 in a laptop is just you know dual core with a little bit more uh, level 3 cache and hyper threading so this is just a an i5 and a laptop is never a quad core it's just a little du dual core so we're open up five, seven zip and uh, reader just to see uh let you guys know how quick you can open up things and then uh we do this oh we don't want to sign into adobe and we're going to open up a google earth pro and then we're going to oops i didn't click fast enough or yeah i didn't click fast enough and there we go we're going to minimize that and just let it run uh it is running online and then what we're going to do is probably open up a like i said it's you know to not get a youtube strike we're going to go to my channel and just open up a couple of my videos because i can't put a strike against myself and you can get an idea of what it's running like on and so we're going to go to my youtube channel here and this is our youtube channel here and we're going to hit play and we're going to go back to and we'll try to get something that's not going to get a commercial right away which it, it does so i really don't want that to run with a commercial um but there we go there it goes one of my videos right there and then we're going to return out the uh, audio because it gets it's too little bit too too noisy and then i can't you know it's already it's already noisy enough here at the market as it is so i don't i really don't want to um, so we're going to open up another one of my videos here and there he goes it loads up right away both videos are playing and then we're going to do another one open link a new video and we're just going to open up this one here and there we go we've got three videos playing and let's see what the cpu usage is on this task manager and we are bumping up uh, almost up to 4 gigs of RAM and 60% uh, CPU usage. But that's running three video streaming concurrently on YouTube with the Word Suite open, 7-zip, and we still have, you know, Google Earth open too. And so uh, let's do, I guess there's a, we can open up a vast free antivirus and uh, then because usually an antivirus scan will, will, will bump up so now we're going uh, a little bit higher in usage and but again we can even run a smart scan while this is all going and it's still not going to you know stutter the videos or anything like that as long as you have and now because we're doing the smart scan now we're bumping up against 100 percent uh, cpu usage but everything else is streaming fine and just to show you guys you know we can still zoom in here and we can still use Google Earth perfectly fine while everything is running and scanning and it's not missing a beat. Now that's what it can do. An SSD upgrade on a fairly competent, you know, laptop can do all this. This is just running the uh, Intel HD 2000 graphics. It is a Sandy Bridge processor, so it's an older processor. But, you know, it's definitely worth it uh, if you have a decent uh, processor in your computer, 8 gigs of RAM. And it can save your laptop and if this is more than enough for you as it is with most people then it's definitely worth it the ssd upgrade is definitely worth it uh, any question or comments guys uh, please post them at the bottom of the video um, any requests let me know we'll see what we can do uh, and uh, you know i appreciate you guys always watching these videos and appreciate the support thanks bye bye